This little girl seems to look at a person in blue shirt. The reflected light from the blue shirt entered through her pupil and reaches to the retina where the photoreceptors are stimulated. Depending on how the photoreceptors transform the light into signal information, we are able to see colors. This figure illustrates the section of the eyeball. As you have already learned, we call here as retina. When we look into the structure of the retina, the retina contains two important photoreceptors, which are rods and cones. As displayed here, rod cells look like rods, while cone cells look conic. They are named after how they are shaped. Basically, rod cells and cone cells are structurally and metabolically similar, but the functions of rods and cones are quite different. Here you go, uh, the rods and cones in a real photograph. Rod cells are highly sensitive to light, so able to detect small amount of light. Rod cells enable humans and other animals to see something at moonlight or with very amount of available light. On the contrary, cone cells respond to higher light intensities. Therefore, how bright the ambience is critical to selectively activate the type of photoreceptors. And as a result, we can discriminate only brightness or we can see colorful objects. This phenomenon is related to three different types of our vision adaptation. That will be uh, explained in a separate video. Instead, let's look into the response curves of the road cells and cone cells along the visible light. The curve here indicates the observance spectrum of rhodopsin, which is the opsin protein in the rod cells. It contains only one pigment, so the hue differences are not perceivable. Hence, objects are seen in grayscale. In addition, as shown here, rod cells are more sensitive at 500 nanometer wavelength region. For cone cells, there are three sets. Each set has different opsin types, and the different opsin type is particularly sensitive to the corresponding wavelength region. The first set is sensitive in short wavelength region. It is called s -con. The second and the third sets are sensitive in mid-wavelength and then long-wavelength regions. They are called MCON and LCON respectively. In terms of amount, the ratio of S, M, and L is approximately 1 to 20 to 40. This does not mean that we perceive red or green more easily than we do blue. Ratio-wise, the amount of S cone is much less than the other two, but the S cone is pretty much essential to perceive colors in a proper way. The interaction of three cones results into opponent signals. One channel is related to brightness. All three cones are involved in this. More importantly, to see colors, the other two channels are directly related. The color signal is formed in terms of two uh, aspects. One is red or green, and the other is yellow or blue. For red or green, the sensitivity of M is compared with the sensitivity of L. In aspect of yellow or blue, the sensitivity of S cone versus that of M or L cone, cone cells is compared. Therefore, a single color involves three independent channel signals, brightness, red or green, yellow or blue. For example, red and yellow signal will result orange. 
orange is indeed here reddish and at the same time yellowish. Now you understand that there is no such thing like reddish and at the same time greenish. It is physiologically not possible. Some of, our, uh, some of the color systems resemble how our photoreceptors function to perceive a color hue. For instance, in the natural color system, the four T hues are arrayed in a third, third complex position that is defined by two axes, such as red-green and yellow or blue. These two axes came from the opponent signal information. The color deficiency, such as colorblind or color amblyopia, is caused when one or more than one cone types are absent or defect. Previously, the proportion of S cones was relatively much smaller than the other two. However, without the S cone, the yellow blue channel information will be missing. Not being able to discriminate the blue, we are not capable of viewing yellow either. We perceive uh, this color as yellow only when we can discriminate this from blue. Therefore, when the S cone is absent, the original image may be seen in this way. The image is rendered using only red-green information with some brightness.